Because it's my worldview that a burning fire is better looking than I am, why don't we just look at the, the fireplace while I chat for a minute or so. A thought about spreading the word of libertarianism, and when I say that, of course, I mean voluntarism or extreme libertarianism. A thought I had about uh, that was in marketing, in sales, when you're trying to sell something, you first identify your, your target market, and that is who can afford it, who might want it, uh, what's the demographic that's most likely to purchase uh, your, your product or your service. And for us, it's kind of easy. If you go to a libertarian convention, and I'm not talking about a capital L libertarian, but like intellectual, moral libertarians, if you go to one of their conventions, Anarchapoco or, or Porkfest or whatever, and you, and you get rid of the 80% of people who are just there because they want to smoke weed or enjoy essential oils or chakras or spirit healing or whatever. If you, if you look just the true intellectual people who are boring folks discussing philosophy, who are they? What do they do for a living? What, what can we say about them? Well, generally, they are male. Generally, they're between age 20 and age 40. That's most common. Ah, looks like the heat got up enough that the, the fan's going to get going. So that if that's the general demographic, then let's look at what they do for a living. Well, most of them are in the computer science industry. I don't know if that's the right wording for it, but they're tech people. Uh, they know how to do coding, programming, that kind of thing and they're into science. And I think that the reason that this group of people is really, uh, makes up a huge percentage of voluntarists is that it's a, uh, it, it's, it's a science. It's a kind of thing that you might not like that two plus two equals four. You might really want it to equal five, but if you add it up and it equals four, then you're okay to accept truth, even if it's not what you originally wanted. And then that's kind of the case I found with voluntarism is it's not as comfortable to uh, believe in stuff that nobody or very few other people believe in. So how do we then reach those people? What is it that a computer science engineer who is 28 years old, what's their lifestyle? What are their wants and needs? They're probably making enough dollars. They're probably making 75 grand to 150 grand a year as working for a, a big company that they hate. They're probably playing computer games when they're not doing that. They're probably not being pursued by a lot of attractive women. They probably have a functional, reasonable vehicle. They probably don't live in a palatial mansion, but they also don't live in a little mobile home. They probably live in a sensible, modest home. What else do we know about these people? Where am I wrong? And how do we reach them? Is there something that these people need or want, other than hot women, that uh, we can offer them and say, hey, y'all, uh, I know that you guys are, are suffering a poverty of Hershey's bars. Um, come here and, and enjoy one while I share some ideas with you. Um, is there something like that? Obviously, that's rudimentary and that's not the, the right thing. But how does that get your brain spinning? Can you think of something?